a top tip um, for me when off, you know, offering um, it to mothers either antenatally or when I see them postnatally is breast compression. I feel this is really, really important, uh, particularly in uh, young babies, um, because it enables the baby to um, transfer optimum amount of milk. If you're not doing breast compression, what tends to happen is that baby drifts off into non-nutritive or comfort sucking. This will make your feeds very, very long and protracted. Um, so breast compression is... is um, a very very good thing to do if you want to read more about breast compression you you can find out about it you can google it on you know any search engine and there are um, video clips of breast compression or you could have a look at my download which is called the problem free feed which has literally helped hundreds of women to um, successfully breastfeed their baby another common question is how do i know whether my baby's getting sufficient milk um, in the early days, day one to three, your baby will only be transferring anything between 0.5 to maybe uh, 7 to 10 mils of colostrum. So those amounts are quite difficult to, to measure. But as your feeding becomes established, you, you will know if baby is getting enough. Um, you'll be looking at how many wet and dirty nappies they're producing and also by how much weight they're gaining. Again, breast compression can help because um, that simulates and stimulates a letdown for the baby. And it kind of saves the baby having to um, make their own letdown inducing behaviors, you know, pummeling the breast and head butting and that kind of thing. And those are all letdown inducing behaviors. So if you've watched other mammals feed like puppies and kittens, they will do the same. So if your little baby is small, you need to help your baby out by doing breast compression. If you're wanting to give some express milk or you know some some people are very concerned about um, the amount that their baby's um, getting. Um, if you're wanting to give an express feed um, the rule for calculating volumes of breast milk is you take the baby's weight in kilos and you multiply that by 20 for a feed. For example, if your baby is 3.5 kilos, you would need to give them 70 mils. The amount for the day is baby's weight in kilos times 150 mils. Um, so if your baby's 3 kilos, your baby would need 450 millilitres for the day. This is quite different to the calculation for formula milk. So some parents, they use the calculation for formula milk and often get quite disappointed when their breasts don't produce that amount. So just be aware there is a completely different calculation for breast milk. I often see patients who have um, problems with sore nipples. Um, there is a degree and a spectrum of sore nipples. Uh, sometimes we're just talking about um, they just feel a bit sensitive. Other, you know, we can go to the other extreme where there is loss of tissue. Okay. There is always a cause for sore nipples. This is not normal in breastfeeding. Your breasts do not need to toughen up or any of that kind of thing. If you're experiencing compression of your nipples, say if they're lipstick shaped or chisel shaped when they come out of baby's mouth, that is not normal. You need your baby's latch assessed by a breastfeeding specialist. Other causes of nipple soreness and sensitivity are thrush. This is a very, very common problem in breastfeeding. With thrush, the nipples will um, appear very, very pink. And this is because thrush has attacked the top layer of skin, one cell thick, the microscopic layer that includes the um, skin pigment. So it removes that layer of skin. But in doing that, it also leaves every nerve ending exposed so that's why thrush is very very painful but fairly easily treated so you would need to see you know, a breastfeeding specialist about that. For patients that have um, extreme and acute nipple trauma with loss of tissue um, topical um, humectant nipple creams are not really going to assist you with that. You do need um, a moist wound dressing um, like Nova Gel or Gelanet, which will enable the wound to granulate up properly and prevent scarring. Scarring can occlude nipple pores 
and affect future breastfeeding.